going on, everybody? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Uh, first, uh, you know, I do want to just mention we're going to talk about taxation today and the taxes behind trading card selling retail businesses. So prior to the discussion, I, I do want to say, um, as a disclosure, I'm not a financial licensed financial professional. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I do not understand why people don't talk about this subject. I don't understand why Rudy doesn't talk about this subject because it's very important. And this is going to be one of the most important videos in the series of selling on TCG player that I'll produce. So first, don't forget, check out my Discord, check out my Patreon. Spots in my Patreon are going fast. So if you want some help and some customized personal assistance, reach out on Discord, reach out on Patreon. And, um, you know, like would like to hear from you. Taxation. So what do we got here? I, I, I believe it is Article 1, Section 9, Clause 4 in the United States Constitution, which talks about taxes. And a lot of times you'll hear people talk about something called double taxation. And while I might believe that, you know, we're taxed on income, on property, on sales, on um, all kinds of different state income, local income, the thought process is that you're only taxed once on, the, on those monies or assets. You're not taxed multiple times. Well, when you become a re retailer, and you buy things from a distributor, from a manufacturer, from another business, and you pay sales tax, all right? Follow me here. You pay sales tax. When you go to sell those things that you purchased from the business or distributor, you also charge sales tax to your customers, right? Well, that asset of what you're selling has now been double taxed from sales tax. So while the Constitution, I believe, doesn't explicitly state double taxation, many people, um, many you know, scholars and lawyers, uh, you know, have determined that uh, you you are able to become exempt from sales tax if you are a retailer. So, for example, like let's say you're buying a bunch of stuff to hold like sealed product. You're not even like a, you're not a singles person. You're just holding sealed. If you can buy that sealed product for percentage points less, that means that you're that farther ahead in your investment. So for example, you might buy a box of Pokemon cards for $100, free shipping, okay? Well, you still have to pay sales tax on that from eBay, right? So it's $107, right? So at $107, that's a 7% sales tax, which many assets you look to try to gain 7% per year from your investments. So if you're able to not pay that 7%, that will allow you to skip a year of your investment an entire year is skipped because you didn't have to pay that 7% in terms of your hold. When you go to sell the product through eBay, then it becomes there's sales tax on that product on the back end, right? So that product will, will get taxed. So what I've done is I've structured my business in such a way that, and there's a, a few different options. You could form an LLC and as a retailer. Um, which get, you know limits your liability in terms of issues and lawsuits and, and things like that. You could structure it as a sole proprietor, which is the easiest. And for someone without a storefront or without a lot of you know weird risks, a sole proprietor might be the right way to go. So you structure your business as a sole proprietor and you file for a federal EIN number. And an EIN number, what that is, is that's a tax ID number. Every life every individual, every person is allowed to get one EIN as a sole proprietor on their name in their lifetime. So what you do is you set, you structure your business in a way that you're the business, right? Your name is the business, but you're doing business as your card company or whatever you, whatever retail you're doing. 
So then you take that EIN number, you take that doing business number, and I'm, this is a real high level summary, but I'm planting the seed for you guys to say, hmm, maybe do I do enough volume of buying that this makes a lot of sense for me? So then you say, hmm, all right, I'll take my name, I'll take my EIN number, and I'll go to my own state and I'll say, hey, state, let's, let's say it's your state is, I don't know, what's a fun one? What's a fun state? Idaho. Idaho's a fun state. Let's say you, you say your state's Idaho. So you go to Idaho and you say, hey, Idaho, I resell all this stuff that I'm buying. Can you provide me with a certificate that states that I don't have to pay sales tax on these items that I'm buying for the intent and purpose and ultimate reselling of those items? So they give it to you. They give you that. Then you go to different businesses like eBay and you say, hey, I, you know, I have a sales tax certificate. I'd like to be able to, you know, make my account sales tax free so I can buy sales and stuff free, you know, without sales tax. So they let you. So now that $100 box of Pokemon cards with free shipping only costs you $100. That's it. There's no sales tax. And if there's free shipping, that's it. So I highly recommend anyone that's investing large amounts of money into cardboard or really for anything anything that you're going to and I mean eventually resell that's not used right sealed products a good one um, individual singles are a good one because you know it, it, it just it makes a lot of sense you save so much money so consider if it's right for you to look into filing for a business and a tax ID number and getting a tax certificate, sales tax certificate. You know, I'd be more than happy to, you know, um, say consult folks through this process. You know, if you're, if you have questions and reaching out to me again, I am not a licensed advisor. I'm not a tax professional or anything like that. I can kind of help say, here's the high level steps that you need to do. I can't help you say, this is what you should decide, or this is what you should do, or that's what you should do. That's not what I'm, that, I can't help you with that. I can at least say, oh, okay, here's the site that you can go file for an EIN number. Here's how you go about the eBay process of, you know, submitting for that. So if you're interested in the help, remember, check out the Patreon. Um, it may end up saving you a lot of money in the long term and, um, you know, it might be really worthwhile for you. And if not, hit me up on my Discord anyway, right? So thanks, folks. I hope this was uh, insightful. Um, this was one of the things that I think I spent a large portion of my time trying to figure out. I did consult a tax professional and I paid that tax professional a decent amount of money and um, <laughs> the advice that I got wasn't wasn't good. It was really bad advice. Um, so uh, you know be careful with who you do consult. Um, do your always do your own research. Um, you know there's no better advocate for yourself than you. So um, that's my thoughts on the matter. Again, double taxation, there are ways, especially if you're going to eventually resell the product. If you're cracking the product and you're going to go play with your friends and you're going to like trade some of it in, like this isn't free. That's not what this is. This is you are buying product with the intent to, to totally resell it, right? That's, that's it. That's, the, that's what this is for. So thanks again, folks. Thanks for joining. And as always, we'll talk to you all later.